Welcome to the AI Advantage Storytime. Are you sitting comfortably? Well, let's begin. Tonight, we embark on a journey, a reflection of our own world through the eyes of artificial intelligence. Some of it will be sad, but there is hope at the end. We begin with a story penned by Hans Christian Andersen. Snow Queen, first story. In this tale, a wicked demon creates a mirror that distorts everything beautiful and good into something ugly and wrong. But the mirror gets broken into a million pieces and scattered across the world. Now those who have a shard of this mirror in their eyes, or worse still their hearts, see the world as a twisted, malevolent place. The first question is if AI is that mirror, and is it showing us the best or worst of society? Has AI become a reflection of our own biases, our fears, and our hopes? Just like the demon's mirror, AI systems can mimic and exaggerate human bias. They learn from us, and sometimes they learn our prejudices too. Consider the US-based Correctional Offender Management Profiling for Alternative Sanction System, known as COMPASS. Analysis by ProPublica found some truly nightmarish statistics based on risk scores it gave. Black defendants were twice as likely as white defendants to be misclassified as high risk or violent, and white recidivists were misclassified as low risk 63.2% more often than black defendants. Sadly, it gets worse. In theory, judges are not supposed to give longer sentences to defendants with higher risk scores. Rather, they are supposed to use the test primarily to determine which defendants are eligible for probation or treatment programs. But in August 2013, a judge in Wisconsin declared a defendant had been identified through the COMPASS assessment as an individual who is at high risk to the community. The judge then imposed a sentence of eight years and six months in prison. Has a feedback loop of human behavior influencing AI, then influencing a human judge? to enforce AI's decision being created? The algorithms used are trade secrets, but what data were they trained on in the first place? And where is this going? And this isn't an isolated example. Across the ocean in the UK, the offenders assessment system known as OASIS was introduced in 2001 and has faced similar criticism. Yet in over two decades, scientists outside the government have not been permitted access to the data behind OASIS to independently analyse its workings and assess its accuracy. And in a government review of AI in the justice system in 2022, it was noted that there are concerns about the dangers of human bias contained in the original data being reflected and further embedded in decisions made by algorithms. So bias and prejudice aren't new and sometimes are inherent in the system in the first place but also sometimes people use it to their advantage. There are plenty of examples of politicians claiming immigrants will take jobs in order to get votes. Will politicians start to vilify AI, much like they have with immigrants in the past? Is AI the perfect target for politicians? A new scapegoat for societal woes that won't answer back? But the outlook and the way we behave doesn't have to be negative. In the season eight episode of South Park called Goobacks, future humans travel back from a time where overpopulation and unemployment have ravaged the earth. They travel back to find work, and even the low wages of the present are valuable in their dystopian future. Their willingness to work for next to nothing leads to a decrease in wages for the current residents, causing tension and unrest. Townspeople become increasingly frustrated, and anti-immigrant sentiment grows. The cry of they took our jobs! Yeah. Became a recurring theme. Sound familiar? Being South Park, the ideas to take on the challenge were less than ideal. Seeing the adult's failure, the character of Stan calls out, Maybe the answer isn't trying to stop the future from happening, but making the future better. And for a brief time, the townsfolk work to recycle, install solar panels, and clean up the environment. And the goo backs magically start to fade away, never needing to travel from the future. Sadly, being South Park, and maybe another reflection of human nature, the townsfolk revert back to their old ways. 
I hope you enjoyed our little journey. As we close this chapter of the AI Advantage Storytime, let us remember that the AI mirror is not the demon. It's what we see in it that matters. AI is a tool, a reflection of us. If we strive to be better, to understand and correct our biases, the mirror will reflect a world of fairness, empathy and progress. It's not too late. And the one thing we can all agree on is that AI is good at learning from us. But we need to take the first step. <laughs>